Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. I am quickly going to jump into uh, file preferences, company settings, and we are going to cover the section on general company preferences. So, real quick, uh, all these check marks are going to be default except for probably this first one. I don't believe by default point of sale has you log in. So if you would like to, you can have each of your employees with a login name uh, required to log in each time they use the point of sale. This is um, pretty useful for a couple different reasons. One, keeping track of who did what or who did what wrong. And also if you're doing commissions, it's very useful because then the commission can go to the right employee. Uh, the second check mark here, if you have the first one on, then you can make it so that it automatically logs each user out after making a sale. This would make sure that uh, you correctly have logged uh, each sale for commissions. You can also track employee sales, like who does more sales, uh, if employees are checking out their own sales. Um, it gets a little more dicey if you have one person as the clerk and other associates are making the sales on the floor, but the same person is always checking them out. But there is a way where you can uh, make sure that the sales associate on the floor gets credit for the sale, definitely. We'll cover that in a different video on commissions. Now, uh, third check mark here, warn when editing documents, items, or customers. That's kind of when you hit save on each thing and it pops up and says, are you sure you want to save? Uh, for different items, customers, and um, sales documents in the point of sale. So if you get annoyed by those, you can turn it off, but I usually leave them on because you don't want to save something accidentally and, I don't know, ruin something. So you get the option to cancel or say no. Uh, very much like the last one, you can also have warnings when deleting documents, items, customers. Uh, this is not going to come into play as much these days because you can't straight up delete documents anymore. Uh, they found problems with that, so now you do reversing instead, which is like an inside out version of the document that undoes what it did. Uh, you can still, I believe, delete customers, um, but a lot of this stuff actually doesn't delete because it's part of other uh, like items. You can't delete those because they've made sales in the past for those items. Um, Documents such as sales receipts will turn into a reversal. Uh, deleting a customer may just not make them show up anymore, but they're still actually there and they're hidden because they're attached to the sales documents previously for them. And then, of course, you can merge docu merge customers uh, if they're duplicated. But anyway, so this one doesn't really matter that much anymore. Now you can bring back all one-time messages and those are things that popped up to help you out when you first ran point of sale and pointed out how to do different things. You can do that maybe if you have a new employee, it might help them some. We're going to move on to the next section here, uh, selecting features to use. Uh, I'm probably not going to recommend unchecking any of these. By default, they are all checked and I don't know why people would uncheck certain ones. Maybe we'll we'll think of some reasons. Uh, number one, I want to track customers. Well, yeah, that's so you can put a customer's name and track their history and their receipts. If if you're real big on anonymity, I guess you could uncheck that and not have it even available to track customers. Um, I think that'd be kind of strange. Tracking customers and getting their email address especially is is going to help you a lot with marketing and so you can market to people, your customers, in the future. Number two, I want to record shipping addresses on sales receipts. I guess you could turn this off if you don't want it to show up. Um, it is, of course, useful if you are processing online orders and you want to ship stuff to customers to have this available. But unchecking it to make it not available is, I don't know, it's, it's, it's there. You don't have to use it, so you don't have to turn it off either. Um, I, I've never seen anybody turn it off, but I have seen people use it on occasion. Uh, next, I create customer sales orders. Uh, I guess you could turn that off if you just want it grayed out so you don't want your 
customers or you don't want your employees poking around in there. Um, sales orders, layaways, and work orders all work very similarly. And I would encourage you, if you don't know how to use them, to at least explore how to use them on one of our other videos. Because a lot of companies don't realize that they actually have a workflow or two that would fit into one of these very well and help their business. They just don't know how to use them, so they don't know that they should use them. And they just do everything on sales receipts, and it's sometimes disorganized when one of these workflows might help you organize uh, a longer work or sales cycle. Uh, beyond that, I want to use styles to help organize my inventory. Styles, real quick, are like if you have a single product, uh, but you have different types of it. I, I like to use either jeans or shoes are, are a real obvious example. If you say one product is a Levi 501 jeans, and then you've got blue and black and gray, and then you've got 28, 38, 32, something like that, uh, or even the the size and length. Anyway, if you have um, different versions of the same product like that, you can use styles to make a cross grid. So, so making a single item up front and then adding 28, 30, 32, and um, blue, black, and gray, that'll automatically create all the combinations in between between those two attributes. And that can be a super time saver. It can also help you so you know when to reorder what size, etc. So I don't know why you'd turn that off because you don't have to use it. So just keep, keep this check mark in there allows you to use it. Now, I want to track employee hours. I find that super useful. I don't know why somebody would turn that off. It's another thing where you don't have to use it, but turning it off would like make it inaccessible. Uh, of course, having your employees clock in and clock out of the point of sale will also flow their hours over to QuickBooks Accounting and right into payroll automatically. It's a great system. I don't know why you wouldn't be using it, uh, but I also don't know why you would actually turn it off and inhibit your ability to use it. <clears throat> now, uh, last thing, I create purchase orders when buying or receiving merchandise. I highly recommend that you use purchase orders so you can track what you've ordered and when it shows up, you can automatically receive it. Such a great system. Why would you turn it off? Why would you make it inaccessible? I don't know. <clears throat> Now, uh, the next section here, we got data safeguards. Uh, very important section in your general settings. Uh, this is by default, I believe, set to once a day do a backup when exiting point of sale. I don't really like that setting. I'd, I'd rather you set it to automatically backup uh, every night in the middle of the night. What happens with the first setting is that when I have plenty of customers who leave point of sale on 24 hours a day, leave the program open 24 hours a day. They might only actually restart the point of sale program once a week. And therefore, when that happens, uh, they only get a backup once a week. And that's not often enough. So I usually tell people, leave your point of sale program running, make your power settings so maybe your monitor turns off, but not your computer, and then every day at 3 a.m. it automatically backs up in the middle of the night and that way you have pretty much a backup every single day and you would only ever lose one day of sales data uh, I usually don't recommend including item images I don't think people not a lot of people use item images and backing them up just makes your backups humongous so I would leave that alone a couple of new uh, settings here just in the last couple of years you can choose to show EMV reports on the reporting menu so that you get some more intricate data on the EMV chip card credit card processing I, I feel like this report is probably just for troubleshooting if somebody's having some issues with the EMV which I haven't actually seen yet and then um, 
you can choose to participate in a usage study. It's one of those things where it sends your data and how you use point of sale over to Intuit. Personally, I'm not a big fan of, of offering up data to big companies. I don't know, that's just me. So that was the main general company preferences settings page. Real quick, there's just two other sections here. Store info, which is should have the information that you filled in on the uh, on the startup interview when you first created your point of sale company. This is also the place where you can put a logo and import a logo file or picture file for printing on your receipt, which is pretty great. Makes your receipt look very professional to have your logo on it. So you can do that right there. And then uh, I have a whole other video that you should check out on custom fields, which is the field label section here. You can create your own custom fields for uh, customers, vendors, employees, and your inventory items. So those would be special fields that you make up yourself so that you can customize the point of sale to fit your business better. Once again, my name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming on this quick recap about our general settings in company preferences in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Now, don't forget to join our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can have discussions on certain issues you might have with QuickBooks Point of Sale among other QuickBooks Point of Sale users and myself included. And uh, we probably have another link down there that has some QuickBooks secrets for you. So my name's Peter. You have yourself a great day.